Whoa, look at that. She's flying. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is Monday, the 7th of March. Yeah, let's get some of this on there and that will stop any rust, hopefully. Nice. It's not a polishing competition. Right. That's over here. Say goodbye to these annoying bits of wood forever. So that's where the front bearing goes. That's where the second bearing goes. I'll get rid of those magnets. And that's where the last bearing goes. Look at that beautiful blue sky, my friends. Have to go and make a new bolt. When she spins, we wins. Now, annoyingly, I hacked these off because they were getting in my way. Uh, I don't have any M10 threaded bar. I uh, mustn't forget to tighten this up. I'm going to check all of them, but that one for sure. And what we'll have to try and do is just get the chain about the right length. The chain's going to have to be altered. Pretty chain, yummy. Oh, that won't work, will it? What I'm going to actually try doing is I'm going to move the motor as close as I can. Move it up that way and then if there's a problem we can drop it down. Uh, good news, there was some room, so you can see now we've got something to play with to tighten up the chain, which will be required. There. Get tighter because we need to have... Yeah, I'm thinking right, yep. <clears throat> Now the link piece joins them together there, so... Which I'm not going to drop. Honest? Oh, come on. Oh, she's looking good. She's looking sweet. Poppity pop. Oh, no, I don't even grief. I can't breathe. Link piece on that way. It doesn't matter what way it goes, I don't think. I could be wrong, as long as it... Makes a nice clickety sound. Hey, easy peasy. That's pretty slack, but that might be right. Nah, it's too slack. That's too slack. So now. Whoops. Ah. E. So we're letting off the bolts. Pulling it down, pulling the frame down, and then we've got to get it running as good as we can. Everything has to be lined up properly in the chain just right. I have found it 100% will not spin if it's too tight. If the chain's too tight, it won't turn. So we'll do the bottom ones up first, and then the top ones. Sounds a little bit clunky, but should be right. We shall find out. Feels pretty good. It's got a lot of slack there. Beauty. Let's go find the blade bolts. That's very good news. I just found them. I'd actually put them with the blades, which makes a refreshing change.
That's how she rolls. I don't know how well it's going to go, but there's only one way to find out. Let's stick her in the air. One of the back wires has got wrapped around. Chitlins need to be inside when there's towers going down and up. I'm just going to let it down a bit and then that should give me enough to unloop it. Now I've got to do up these guide ropes nearest to us because they're very loose and the tower's actually leaning slightly away from us. Rattle, rattle, rattle. She's a-going. I still haven't done the guide ropes yet. Basically see it wobbling from left to right. I think it's still loaded to a 12 volt battery. I'm just going to go check. Yes, it is connected to a 12 volt system. So I've unloaded it now. So if it starts spinning, we should see it go a bit faster. I don't think I'll get it uh, connected up to the new batteries in this video because I don't really want to rush that. But yeah, I'll leave this filming for a bit, see if it catches some wind. And then if not, it's all good. Whoa, look at that. She is flying. I just came home. I went to the store and she's turned into the wind the right way and she's a-ripping. She's a-ripping, look at that. Well happy with that. Sweet! And I've just got all these batteries put in a nice rack for now. Uh, I've got the stuff to put them together and that will be in the next video as well. Peace.